Now I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the process of geocoding in Python. So you've got your notebook window here. You should open the geocoding with Python notebook. And you'll see that this opens a Python notebook. And the way that this works is you have blocks of code, which are in gray. You can tell it's code because the text is color coded. And you have in between it blocks of text. And I've numbered everything step by step as you go through and embedded questions here. This also is paralleled in the, uh, the lab web page itself. So the way to work this, to run a block of code, you just click run. You can also hold the control and enter keys in combination to run a block of code. Now we're gonna run this block of code and we're gonna get an error message. It's going to take a second to import everything, then it's going to say name BC data not defined. And that's because we have one step to do here. We need to enter the API key that we got from Mapbox in order for this to work, because I set it up so that if you don't enter your API key, it won't work for you. So you go to the Mapbox window, click the copy button next to the default public token, and then go back here and where you see API key equals and then empty quotation marks just paste the API key in there. Then you can run it. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna print this data file, just the top five records. We can see the various pieces of information. There's lots of missing data, which isn't available for some records, uh, but then there is some information available for some of it. And this dot, dot, dot indicates that it's not actually printing everything. It's just giving you a quick preview. So step one is out of the way. Step two is to inspect the data. So we're gonna get a count of the total number of records and we're also going to aggregate the data by police department. So count the total number of incidents per police department and then sort it. And I will point out that the data that I'm showing you right now is for the last five years. The data that you're gonna be working with for the lab is for the last 10 years. So these videos are for illustrative purposes. They're not actually giving you the answers to the lab questions. You're gonna to have to go back through and do them yourself to figure out the answer. But it's very easy. We've created this table called BC data. It's very easy with Python to say, get the count of the total number of records or to group by something like the department and then get the count and sort it. So we can run. We can see that in the last five years, there were 62 incidents and the RCMP are the culprit in the overwhelming majority of them. So step two, you just do that and then answer the questions. Step three, we're gonna create a plot. So we can aggregate the data again, but this time do it by the cause of death instead of the police department and make a pie chart to see what's happening, what are the majority of the incidents here. And so you can see the distribution, police shootings make up the largest majority, police use of force is also a very large fraction. And then these in custody group, this is a variety of different types of incidents that could happen in custody, whether it's a medical accident or uh, something like that. Uh, and then there's other, records as well. So step three, just do that. And again, answer the question. And then step four, we're actually gonna do the geocoding. So the geocoding, the way this works, we have to add some new records to the table. We have to create empty latitude and longitude columns that we can then add the data to. And we're gonna create a column called geocoding notes that's going to be empty. But if the geocoding fails anywhere, for any attempt, then we'll put a note in there that says geocoding fails. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna call the Mapbox geocoder. We're gonna feed it the API key. That's that access token that we got from Mapbox to create this geolocator item. Then we're gonna loop through every single record in the data set. So that's all 32 or 62 records in this five-year data set. Again, the 10-year data set is gonna be longer. We're gonna loop through every record and we're going to create an attempt. The attempt is just going to be, we're gonna take the address, the city, the province, the postal code, and then the word Canada, 
and we're going to stitch them all together into one sentence. And then we will pass that sentence to the geolocator, which is just going to be called G. And then we will set the values for that row. Again, we're looping through all of the rows in this table. And for each row, we're going to set the values of the latitude and longitude to the latitude and longitude values returned by the geolocator. We're going to do this with a try statement. And what that means is that it's going to try to do this. And if it shoots out an error message for some reason, it's not able to do the geocoding, then we will get uh, a note for that record that says geocoding failed. So you click run. And at least for the five year record, everything's fine. It didn't fail to geocode any records. The geocoding is done and it saved a new file called um, BC, uh, BC geocoded to the data folder with this statement. So the geocoding has been done. We've taken all of those text addresses and turned them into latitude and longitude XY coordinates. So now, again, step four, just run that process, answer the question. Step five is just to inspect the results. You always want to take a look at the results after you do geocoding. So we're just going to create a really simple web map. We're going to use this package called Folium to create a map centered on the province of British Columbia at a fairly zoomed out level using a simple black and white map tile set. We're going to loop through all the records again, and we're going to plot a circle for each latitude and longitude point. We're going to give it a pop-up text that says the address and the city. We're going to make it blue and we'll save that map. And so if you run this, you will have just created your first web map. You can zoom, pan, and you can click and interact with the data markers and they will tell you the address that came up. 